Hey, everybody, welcome back. It is week six. So we are going to jump into unit six today and take a look at what's going on. Um, only two more weeks after this. So it is um, a good week to make sure that you are up to date on everything. Um, last week, I sent out some notices for folks who were missing previous assignments. Some of you got back to me right away. Others of you I've not heard from. And um, I would really encourage you that if you get an email from a professor that you email them back, no matter what, even if it's to say, I'm not going to do this, <laughs> whatever the case may be, it's really frustrating from an instructor's perspective when we're really trying hard to get you back on track or whatever, and we don't hear from you. So please make sure that you are in contact with your instructors. Um, that's true of any school, but especially when you're taking fully online classes, um, we don't have the ability to, you know, pull you over and uh, have you stay after class. The only way that we can get in touch with you individually is through email. And if you're not answering those emails, um, it's very frustrating. It's also sad. Um, and it uh, leaves us with hang high anxiety. So just make sure that you're contacting your instructors when things are happening. Um, it's great that you also make contact your, uh, your advisor, um, but your individual instructors need to hear from you. So just make sure that you're doing that. All right, that's my PSA for today. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this week's assignments. Uh, unit six, we have a tiny bit of a break on the um, writing because it is a uh, knowledge check week. So this is a good time though to be working hardcore on your argument essay. Um, it is going to be due at the end of week seven. So this is a good week to be working on it and then um, bringing any questions that you have about it to me. So let's take a look at the whole week, though. We're um, a reminder at the very top of this week in the module to um, register for next term. It is that time. And then you're going to be learning and having readings and resources about crafting an argument because that is what we're doing in the argument paper. Argument is made up of three types of what we call appeals. Um, logos is an appeal to people's logic and fairness, and that is the primary way that we want to, to um, argue. Ethos is about reliability and credibility. So ethos is less about what you say in an argument and more about how you put your argument together. So for example, a good ethical article that has strong ethos appeal is not going to attack the other side for being dumb or wrong. Um, so unfortunately, we don't see a lot of good examples of argument in today's world. Um, but in the tradition of argument, uh, building your own reliability and credibility is about fairness and equality and giving a voice to both sides, even if you don't agree with that other side. And then pathos is making that emotional connection, um, using appeals or support that are more based on emotion than on logic and fairness. Now, that doesn't mean we don't use those, but those shouldn't be the main way that we argue things. Um, and that too is something we see in the real world where people are only arguing about emotions and they're not really focusing on any, um, any of the other pieces. So anyway, um, our objectives this unit are to incorporate the rhetorical um, aspects in an argument. We're doing that next week, but getting started with that and going ahead and working on that, recognizing the expectations of creating an argument and distinguishing uh, between different transitional words. One of the things, of course, that uh, makes good writing is flow. Um, the art, the, the ideas kind of flow one into the other. So we're going to be working on how to make those transitions this week as well. So readings and resources, please, please, please make sure you do everything in this folder before you attempt a graded assignment. 
said it before, I will continue to say it because it's absolutely true. Um, so the topics this week are writing an argument. You've got a reading assignment. You've also got um, a resource on structuring your argument essay. So that is going to help you if you want to get started on writing that this week. That's going to be a big helpful um, thing there. As far as writing transitions, you don't have an article to read, but you do have an interactive lesson that's going to help you um, think about transitions and how to do those effectively. So take some time to do that. With rhetoric and argument, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got two readings, either one of them super long, please read them uh, in their entirety before moving on. And then you've got some videos, uh, two just, you know, from other sources and then one of course from post university itself so as usual make sure you do all of the readings and resources and then it will be time to do your two assignments first of course we do have a discussion board this week we don't have a writing a formal writing assignment but we do have a discussion board uh, please begin by selecting an advertisement for a popular product such as soda clothing uh, soda food clothing brand or a car Write one paragraph considering the advertisement rhetorically by answering these questions. How would you summarize what the advertisement is about? Using that summary, how do you think the advertisement logically sells the product to the consumer? What emotions or pathos does the advertisement create in you after viewing it? And what makes you trust the brand and the advertisement or not trust them? please include a link to the advertisement in your post. Make sure to review the readings and resources, which we've already talked about. Um, and then in your responses to others, of course, you're gonna see the, the, the ads that your classmates have shared and respond to those. Um, if you were thinking, if you were writing a critical review of the advertisement, what is one area you think that the advertisement could be improved upon? Why? You can also explain how you think the rhetorical appeals appear in the advertisements in general. Um, have you noticed them in any other advertisements and why are they used? Now, I will tell you, traditionally, this assignment is hard for some reason. I'm not sure why. I think it's maybe because we don't see, we don't think of that word advertisement as a thing. You really have two choices in choosing an advertisement. One, and I think this is probably your best bet, is to use a television commercial. Um, you can find television commercials anywhere, but I would look for a television commercial on YouTube because remember, you need to share the, um, you need to share it. So YouTube is a great source for that. In fact, let me open a new window and we're gonna go to YouTube. Now, the easiest way, if you know of a television advertisement that you for sure want to find, then you can search for it. Um, the other thing though that you can do is search for television advertisements. Um, and there's all kinds of um, samples. If you are getting an article or an article, a video that's 10 minutes or 30 minutes, this is going to have more than one commercial on it. And you can certainly use that. That is absolutely fine. But ideally, you're going to share just the one advertisement that you want to share with us. So here's one for Budweiser that is the old Clydesdale team. You notice that the whole video is a minute. That means it is one television commercial. This one is the direct TV commercial. It's 32 seconds. That is also a single commercial. Now you can use a full, a bunch, like this one is kind of a fun one. Where did it go? Here it is. This one is all TV advertisements from the eighties. Of course this, uh, as an eighties child, this brings back a lot of good memories for me. So you can certainly do that. The other thing that you can do to find those compilations, um, famous, TV commercials, you can at, look for that. And again, well, this one came up, uh, the same one came up 
very quickly. Um, this one is a 10 minute one. So we're gonna have a bunch in there. This one is uh, best commercials of all time, number one. So of course there's more than that. Um, this is not advertisements. This is funny bloopers. That is not an advertisement. So you do want an actual television commercial. Um, and again, if you know of one, you could, you could definitely look for it. Um, my, one of my childhood commercials, um, that played a lot is the, where's the beef commercial for Wendy's. This is an oldie, but a goodie. Um, and it, here are some direct, like, this is just 30 seconds. So these are literally the advertisements from that, that advertisement, um, campaign there were more than one um here's a compilation of them as a matter of fact so 18 minutes so that is the easiest the other type of advertisement that you could use would be to look for print advertisements so i'm going to go to google um famous print ads and it's the same kind of situation I'm going to look at these visuals, the images, and I'm going to be able to see individual ads that would have been printed in a newspaper or a magazine, typically in a magazine. Um, and these are things, <coughs> excuse me. these are things that you can use. Now you will need to give us a link to the ad. So we would need to actually go to the website that it's on. And then there's a bunch that you can pick from here. So most important things, got to be a real ad, got to give us the link to it. So if we were going to um, share one of these, of course, we would just copy the, all you have to do is copy the um, URL up in the address bar and you can share that. Your other assignment this week is a knowledge check. So as we've done before, we did one back in unit three, you will have 10 questions. They are multiple choice and true false. They are worth 10 points each. You can take it as many times as you want to, as long as the last one is no later than Sunday night. Okay. So those are your two assignments this week. If you need help with the ads, let me know. Um, I may throw a few of those links in the, uh, in the, in the, window with this um but it's a fun one it's just i think sometimes people get confused about what is an advertisement because we don't really necessarily use that word a lot uh, we also don't read a lot of magazines where we're flipping actual pages and seeing advertisements so uh, billboards by the way could be an advertisement you just have to be able to show us what you saw so if you if there's a billboard that you want to use um, you can certainly do that, but you've got to be able to share it with us. So if you can't find it online, I wouldn't use that one. Okay. Any questions about that? Let me know. Um, and then, like I said, if you want to go ahead and start working on the uh, argument essay, you certainly can. If you need help with that, I'm right here. Everybody take care and have a great week. I will see you next Monday if I don't talk to you between now and then.